a solo jet that has achieved increasing success on the export stage and no wonder when you look at the performance it's about to demonstrate a smaller and uh, lower cost offering than some of the other fighters of its generation such as the Typhoon or the Rafale but an exceptionally capable and exceptionally flexible one and the reason it's taxiing some way into the runway prior to take off is to demonstrate part of that flexibility Unlike those earlier Saab fighters, the Gryphon has achieved a lot of success on the worldwide export market. It's been bought by the Czech Republic, Hungary, South Africa, Thailand and Brazil up to now and is in contention for a wide range of other fighter requirements. good idea of this aircraft's excellent maneuverability, particularly its rate of roll. For the display crews, uh, a flat show is actually more physically demanding because the, the G is on. Um, during a looping maneuver, most of the G takes place at the bottom um, and the very end of the maneuver, um, whereas for a flat show, uh, the aircraft is loading up to 8 to 9G virtually all the time. indicated airspeed uh, into about a 20 knot headwind so 90 knots over the ground and you can see the difference between the trajectory of the aircraft and where the smoke is coming off and that angle is the angle of attack accelerating from 100 knots up to 250 and then uh, starting the wing over climbing to a thousand feet and now descending down to 300 feet for the positioning for a split S Uh, 
demonstrated slow roll there. It looks quite uh, serene as you see the aircraft rolling, um, but he was working very, very hard using all three axes of the control system to make a faultless slow roll. Single-engine aircraft this, like the F-16 we saw earlier, but unlike the Typhoon that we'll be seeing later, a Volvo Aero RM12 turbofan, but the new Griffith E and F models that are currently starting to enter production. This is the future of the Griffin design and uh, Griffin E is part of the test program has just set an undisclosed new level flight speed record for this type of aircraft. So uh, landed at uh, 3,000 feet into the runway and has virtually come to a halt using wheel brakes alone about 1,200 feet later. And hugely impressive. Yes, the Viggen used to be able to uh, display similar performance, but in a frenzy of reverse thrust and brake smoke, not so on the Gripen. No, huge carbon fiber brakes, uh, really effective. I think that's a huge amount of energy. The aircraft weighs many tons. It touched down at about 130 knots. All of that energy has been absorbed by those brakes. 